Morbidly obese, 800-pound man, 33 years old, is kicked out of hospital after ordering a pizza and is now living in his father's SUV. That's one hell of a story, Daily Mail. I, I'm intrigued. I want to know more about the plight of Stephen Asante. Let's, let's, uh, let's read through this, because that sounds like a fucking award-winning story. Managed to lose 20 whole pounds at Rhode Island Hospital. What an accomplishment, Stephen. You were there, what, three or four months? Really fucking spectacular. 20 whole pounds. Somebody call the Guinness Book of World Records. I think I have a new entry for fat fucks that half-assed their way through a fucking eating plan. Wow, I'm just fucking stunned. What dedication. I mean, you must have had to cut down to fucking 30 Twinkies rather than 33 a day to drop that kind of weight, tiger. His father managed to load Asante, who weighs 778 pounds, into his SUV. He says he can't take his son home as he would return to his previous dangerous eating habits. Well, I'm guessing at 800 fucking pounds, Dad. He probably isn't, you know, walking to KFC on his own. Maybe if you didn't feed him so much, he wouldn't have this fucking problem. Or you could, I don't know, create like a barrier of vegetables around his fat fucking ass. Maybe tons of little carrots. He's not going to cross that threshold. Oh god, ooh, that might be healthy for me. I'm just going to stay here in my little corner of the fucking garage or wherever you're going to put his enormous fucking ass. A Rhode Island man who weighs almost 800 pounds was kicked out of a hospital after ordering a pizza and is now being forced to live out of his father's SUV. Stephen Asante, 33, from Cranston, was getting the help he desperately needed to combat his eating addiction at Rhode Island Hospital in Providence. Over the past few months there, he has managed to lose 20 pounds. But when he broke the rules of his care plan by ordering a takeout meal, Asante, who weighs 778 pounds, was told he could no longer stay. Oh god, it's really, it's tugging at my heartstrings. Poor, poor, fat fucking Asante. You are literally living in a van down by the river, Asante. Steve, you are a fucking Chris Farley sketch from the 90s. That is what you have become. You are a living Chris Farley sketch. Fucking job well done, champ. 20 whole pounds. I don't know how he did it. Look at this charmingly handsome individual. I don't know what I'm looking at. I remember taking anatomy classes and biology classes when I went through high school and college, but I don't know, I don't know what these extra body parts are. It's like somebody took a family and had them play a really wickedly hard game of Twister, and they got so tangled up that somebody was like, I gotta snap a picture of this and send it to grandma. And it accidentally got put on this fucking news story about a fat fuck that can't lose weight. Now you might be saying, oh my god, Jim, you're so cruel. Poor Steve, he has a, he has a food addiction. We need to help him. He's living in an SUV because nobody wants to take him. And quite literally, nobody does. He's been turned away from by social workers. He's been turned away by hospitals. His dad doesn't even want him back in the house. Maybe it has to do with the fact that he was in the hospital for numerous fucking months and only lost 20 pounds. You know, I'm gonna maybe, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and speculate a little bit that maybe he was cheating more than this one time. Maybe the reason it was only 20 fucking pounds is because he's been ordering Domino's every other goddamn day. He probably has like a fucking knocking system worked out with a delivery guy and a little lever and pulley and a fucking winch everything hooked up to his hospital window so he doesn't have to actually come in the building. He's like, hey, here's the money. If he can even throw it. I don't know if he can lift his fat fucking arm up high enough to throw the money out the window. I'm just assuming his hunger will compel him to find the energy to do that. But these stories, they're not unique, are they? I mean, we come across them all the time. And it might seem cruel what I'm saying. Oh my god, how can you be so mean? He's got a problem. He was seeking help. So he, he, so he slipped. An addiction is an addiction. Everybody makes mistakes on occasion. Jim, you can't be harsh on this guy. Well, I came across this story because people were talking about it. And generally, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd read it and hear that he's living in an SUV by the river, and I'd laugh about it, and then I'd move on to something else. I wouldn't really care about this man. It wasn't, though, until I looked a little bit deeper into him that I finally discovered this fucking gem. Now, this story you're reading in the Daily Mail and the other news articles that are out there right now paint him as a sympathetic victim. Uh, this poor man in his poor plight, we need to do something. There's an outpouring of support for him. And all you people that are against him, you're just haters. You just dislike him because he's fat. You know, health at any size and all these other idiots that lap the shit up. But I don't think you know who Steve Asante is or why you shouldn't give a fuck about him. I'm not even going to comment on this. I'm just going to fucking play it for you. I found this on a backup channel. This is a video he put out previously and then deleted and somebody archived it. So just suck this in. Take it in. Just really drink it in. Drink it in like he'd drink down a fucking eight gallon bottle of goddamn Coca-Cola. <laughs> This video is just for you taxpayers, and I want to say, 
Thank you very much, you motherfucking hater, taxpaying ass motherfucking douchebag, bitch, have an ass motherfucker. Thank you for paying taxes because without you, I would not have this urinal to pee in. Without you, I would not have this cans of food to eat. Without you, I would have pills to take to keep me alive, like Percocets, water pills, water pills, iron pills, everything like that. I wouldn't have none of that. So I want to say thank you. And you know what? I wouldn't have this laptop I'm on if it wasn't for you goddamn tax taxpayers. And I wouldn't have this camera on my camera or this fucking telephone right here if it wasn't for you taxpayers. Thank you very much. I decided to shit on each and every one of you taxpayers and just say, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, okay? 2012, bitches, okay? Stupid ass, dumb ass, tax paying, having ass, motherfucking douchebag bitch, and I'm out. Get it? Got it? Good. Well, isn't he a peach? Which is probably something he's never eaten before because it's not coated in sugar. Yeah, that's the real Stephen Asante. That's the guy they're painting as the sad victim in all this. The guy saying, hey, fuck you taxpayers. Thanks for all the free shit. I'm just going to eat myself stupid. And you dumb fuckers are going to foot my hospital bill. And then when I get kicked out for ordering pizzas because I'm a fucking degenerate piece of shit that can't try to get his life turned around, I'm going to go to the press and paint myself as a victim. So you'll probably donate money to a fucking Kickstarter or an Indiegogo to give me even more money. Because you dumb pieces of shit will do this every fucking time. This is society now. You can do the most fucked up, depraved shit you want, and then go paint yourself as a victim, and you get away with it. We see it all the time with social justice warriors and feminists, and here we go with the fucking body positivity bullshit. Another fucking scam, another asshole con artist that, well, how is he going to play it away? Oh, it's just a character I play. Is it really a character, Steve? Huh? Is this, is this a character you're doing? Is this a new form of method acting where you put on 700 pounds of fat fuck to really, to really get the motivation of who you're playing down? This is absolutely ridiculous. I want you to remember that video that he put up himself and the date that he mentioned. This was years ago. He's been getting money for fucking years. And he's, he's now complaining and saying that he's a victim and his daddy doesn't know what he's going to do. Are you fucking kidding me? He was going to have the hospital bill footed by the taxpayers. He was then going to get a gastric bypass surgery done, footed by the taxpayers. I, hell, that pizza was probably paid for by the fucking taxpayers. And then he's all smug. He's all fucking arrogant. Well, look at you now, you goddamn land whale. You're stuck in a fucking SUV down by the river.